very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking Angela has finally released also the results of late October and I think it's really uh, pretty much awesome good results so far because uh, from 21 to, till 25 October we can see so many uh, green only few red here and there which is very normal uh, we can notice right now we started adding this square button which means the trade has been closed manually when Angela is announcing uh, to close a signal uh, when it's going against us due to some unexpected news or whatsoever uh, um, let me just tell you something here all these signals we can see that this day for example was somehow not very good because it was break almost uh, sorry closed almost break even then 22 October it was fantastic day with more than 200 or 300 pips of profit which is fantastic also here 23rd October it was great only we had two losses here but however if you also enter the other trades you can also recover it somehow it was also break even and even the next day let me just change to the mouse sorry and even the next day it was also the same it was to be honest bad day 24 October but however 25th October when we are ending the week we ended it in profit good profit um, more than 200 pips has been made in the last day total is 23 wins 7 losses 3 trades manually closed and total of 480 pips of profit now I'm aware a lot of uh, those who don't know yet how to use the signals or just don't sh are not sure um, if they should uh, join the signals they are not sure about how to use the multiple targets okay because we are having take profit one and two and three uh, let me just show you this feedback from one member he, he said when you know how to use Angela's signals it must turn in profit even when you are stop loss I make profit I mean this is example I mean somebody somebody finally who understood how to use the signals even when, you, when we are using multiple targets there is a way to use the signals and when you are joining the group you will be introduced to a video where I'm explaining the four ways to use the premium signals this is another example another happy member on November 5th which was only yesterday uh, this one also uh, at least my account is in blue um, you are doing great job all but two of the last 10 trades confidently in green and this guy also thanking Angela because he account, his account is being grown so however the signals are still doing fine still doing good it's very very normal to have a few losses and a lot of profits if you are expecting completely 100% profits then we are not this kind of people we don't promote 100% profit signals because that simply doesn't exist so however if you wish to join the premium signals please don't hesitate to contact Angelic and find her contact uh, in telegram in the description below this video contact her today and hope to see you there my friends very soon so let's go to the main subject of the video which is the 20 pips a day live trading session uh, right now I'm on the daily candles and of course as you know guys um, when you are using the 20 pips a day it's always a good idea to use the 20 uh, sorry the uh, daily candles ch uh, chart however what I'm seeing now on the daily is very interesting and that's the reason actually I made the, I'm making the video right now is I'm seeing a very good opportunity for a good buy order here uh, let me just check the 4 hour chart as well seems good all good and I'm going to place the buy order right now allow me to explain the reason for placing this buy order now of course what we can see here is a resistance a resistance and another resistance now of course you can notice already that we are having here also a support level and that was the reason for me to place my trade on the same level so this support level is going to keep its position as a support right well that was not the only reason let me explain to you something very very important and you will like it when you are let me just uh, let me tell you something when you are break when, <laughs> when you are trading and expecting to see a breakout from the resistance level this breakout candle here the one you are at uh, assuming that it has broken out from that level it should have a considerable considerable shape or a, um, a particular shape to know that this is actually a breakout and it's not a fake breakout what does that mean now 
let me just try to find a good example or you know what let me just go directly to the example I'm on right now Let's zoom in more so we are having this resistance here right okay now what do we see on the right is this bullish breakout candle now there is of course an idea that this candle here this this is a resistance and this candle here is just on the same level of the resistance so how do you say this is a breakout candle Salah it's not really a breakout candle because this candle is still on the same level of the resistance now the thing is the shape of this breakout candle is very very important um, if this breakout candle did not look like that I would not have placed my trade on the same level uh, because when you see a breakout candle which is completely full uh, blue candle or red, uh, green candle with a tiny small wicks at its top and bottom that means this is actually a breakout candle uh, uh, a bullish breakout candles and the bulls are winning the battle and they are breaking out from the resistance however if you see the breakout candle look like this for example this one uh, with a small body like that and it's breaking out from the resistance it doesn't really mean a breakout because there is still a possibility of a, a, another reversal and the market might actually go down this is actually a very good sign to start uh, shorting uh, the market because it means that the market now is reversing in a bearish uh, re a reversal uh, let me just show you another example if I can uh, when you see a breakout candle and you think it's a breakout candle but it's actually not because of the shape of the candle um, hopefully I can find something very cool uh, soon this is actually a good example here to know that this is a complete breakout from the support and the market will eventually uh, go up to retest the same level of the broken support and then it's gonna be a resistance um, I need to find a good one here to show you example of a candle that you think it's a breakout but it's actually not because of the shape of oh, this one here for example this one good we can see this resistance here and you look at this candle and you think aha this is now a bullish breakout candle because it's uh, the body closed above the resistance level while actually not because you can see this candle here the blue candle it look like this a small body with long wicks and long tail it's not really a breakout candle even though if the closing price was above the the, the, the resistance level so the shape of the candle it has to be full green or full red uh, full blue and even if it's bearish it has to be full red so you can know that this is indeed uh, uh, an authentic or a um, um, legit breakout candle uh, let me try to find now another trade okay I, I forgot to tell you that this was also the reason for me to place the trade right here because this support level is surely gonna keep its position as a support after this breakout now of course this is on daily candles let's go to the four hour chart and we can see uh, on the four hour chart uh, the candle is not so promising but however I trust the bigger time frames uh, the bigger time frame is one is what you are actually looking for which is always giving you the true uh, um, the true direction of the market if you are seeing something you are not very sure about in the four hour chart go to the daily candles and aha now I see it clearly it's correct what I'm assuming and now this is indeed a breakout candle because the bigger the time frame the more accurate direction of the market you will get so let's continue to be on the daily candles and I'm trying to find a good setup right in front of you so hopefully we can enter and find something good to trade uh, nope. I need to find something very trusted something very obvious setup that almost uh, won't fail of course there is a chance of failing I mean I'm just trying to find the setup that I really trust the most something that I really feel so much confident that I'm not thinking that it might work it might not work something I'm really very sure that yeah if I'm if it's it, it's it's it should work <laughs> I'm sorry about that it should work something I feel like this is a setup completing all my my strategy rules and it should work should be in profit so right now actually I cannot find anything else except for the USDGPY 
uh, I will be back to you my friends uh, as soon as possible once I find a good setup I will pause the recording for now let me try to enter this thread of the GPP AUD uh, right now let me just press the thread okay so let me explain to you the reason why did I place the thread right here now of course we can see that we are right now on a very strong resistance level and we can see right here that we had a bearish breakout from this resistance after it was a support level here we can see finally a bearish breakout and right now the market is making the final approach and this resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance and this support is gonna turn to be another resistance now there is a price action that I have seen here which is of course this one here this is a very strong and good price action indicating a, a bearish reversal when you see this candle which is look like that with a small a wick at the top and long tail like that most likely indicating that there is a reversal here and if you see this candle on a resistance level you can expect now for the market to start reversing and going down now the next candle I can see it's already red remember we are on the 4 hour chart okay and we can see here the timer this candle uh, has uh, almost half of the time for the four hour chart already passed and therefore we can expect for it to start reversing right now after spending two hours of its lifetime spam so since I placed my trade right here I can exit my trade at the next nearest support or resistance so let me just uh, I'm just changing this one here because it's annoying actually so let me just set my take profit to be uh, nearly to 20 pips and like that yeah that's 20 pips here to be honest I can set my take profit to be right on this support level uh, and I can expect a 50 pips of profit but however please don't be greedy at all because that is not gonna help you at all to stay uh, in this market for a long time so I have placed my trade right here and let me tell you something some people asking me where do you set your stop loss I mean guys please I'm really tired how many times I explained about the stop loss please watch my videos refer to my videos to see where I'm placing my stop loss I don't use a stop loss uh, I'm relying on the price action now how will how will I decide that this is gonna be a breakout can uh, uh, a stop loss if I see it uh, closed as a breakout candle from this resistance level so for example this is this is red candle right now and it still have two hours until the closure time so for example maybe it will reverse against me and I will see it closing like this a complete blue bar uh, breaking out from this resistance level if I see that I will consider it as a loss and I will close it but it has to close like that it's not enough to just see it uh, getting blue against me and still has more than one, one hour until the closure time it has to completely close and the new candle will open till I decide okay my idea was bad uh, it was not good trade and I will close it with the loss don't ever rush to close it with the loss don't ever set your stop loss to be on a certain level because this is not gonna help you because there is always the chance that the price will try to reach its, uh, this resistance and then the candle might actually close as a pin bar indicating for a strong reversal a strong bearish reversal so in this case you just hit your stop loss you lost your money and the candle finally is going down so if you have kept your trade going you would have been in profit but however you lost because you are believing in the stop loss and you used it and that is how uh, the market makers fooling you they are trying to convince you that the candle is uh, going against you you're getting in panic and then you set your stop loss here so you say okay I will set my stop loss, stop loss on this level so I will not lose more than that however uh, the market is actually fooling you because the candle finally closed as a pin bar which is the best signal for a bearish reversal and now you feel angry and you feel upset because you have lost your money for no reason Whew, sorry that was not uh... <laughs> that was long uh, story to tell however because I'm really pissed off about those who are using the stop loss uh, closing to their entry level because this is one of the top reasons people are actually failing in Forex however uh, two trades have been opened uh, let me now pause the recording 
and I'll be back to you soon to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades okay let me tell you something I'm seeing on the euro USD a very good chance because uh, I'm thinking about it it's a support number one and right now the market is on support number two very basic hit and run rules very basic support uh, number one and support number two however that's not everything because if you go to the four hour chart this price action here we can see this is a double wick here uh, those who know me from the binary options group they know very well which I'm talking what I'm what I'm talking about this is good signal for another reversal we can see here uh, this also this candle here it's really good for the reversal so these price actions all together actually might be good for a good reversal uh, but not for a long time actually uh, the euro USD uh, is not really seems to be able to make a strong uh, bearish momentum at the moment however it might actually climb up all the way until it hit this previous support then based on the price action we will see what will gonna happen it might actually continue to fly more up or it might reverse so let me just see how many pips is that if I enter the trade that is more than yeah we're talking about uh, nearly 40 pips so right now what we are seeing and remember on the, we are on the four hour chart guys this is a really huge time frame you are not on the 15 or 30 minutes now so you when you see the candle is uh, reversing like this now look, look at the candle now it's going down a, lit, a little bit it's approaching a support level that's meaning it's now actually a good idea to start buying the euro USD because right now you are actually on a support level uh, this this is the resistance right here and now the market is climbing up its way so right now it's on a support level because you can expect for the market to climb its way like that so these uh, previously support attempts on the left side here they can be considered as a ladder or as a stairs for the price to climbing its way after rever reversing from this uh, support level right here that's why we are relying on the price action to know the next uh, momentum and we can tell that the next movement for the euro is the it's climbing its way up so i'm going to set my take profit to be almost 18 pips of profit uh, because i'm expecting for it to reverse on this level then going down a little bit hitting this previous support level and then to go more up however i just want to get this uh, small uh, reversal right here now of course again i have to mention this on every live trading video uh, when i'm when i'm using the 20 pips a day strategy i'm opening three or four trades front of you but please don't do this because it's called the 20 pips a day strategy so you are entitled to open only one trade per day and if you are doing that you will notice the huge improvement in your trading experience because when you are using the 20 pips a day strategy your take profit is uh, set to 20 pips and your stop loss as well you can make it also 20 pips so however if you do one trade per day or maximum two your profit will be no more than 20 pips and your loss will also no 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 more than 20 pips so you are now having controlled the uh, you have now full you have full control on your account so you will not just keep losing your emotions and keep trading the whole day if you keep trading the whole day over and over and over you will only stop when your money runs out even no matter how profits you make you will only stop when your money completely completely finish in one bad trade so using this uh, strategy please uh, do only one or two maximum trades per day uh, I'm doing three or four only for the sake of the video just to show you my strategy and for educational purpose however uh, allow me now, now to pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with all these opened three trades so let's take a look about what's happening here we can see the euro USD is very close to hit the take profit and I will close the trade right now with almost 11 pips of profit I was waiting for it to reach actually the take profit level but sadly it just reversed two pips before that that is the greediness that actually might make you lose in your trades so uh, let's see the other trade uh, we can see the same happened actually to the uh, GPP AUD it was very close also to the take profit level just less than two pips away and sadly I was just waiting for it anyway uh, I will just uh, close the thread as well with the profit 
it's very good um forgive me but you can see that uh, the trade was very close to the tech profit level i was just uh, away from the computer at that time so we will just wait for the last trade and see what will gonna happen USDGPY is still in the, in the reversal uh, level still did not reverse meanwhile i will just try to find something else hopefully so i can gain some few bucks extra um, i'm just looking here and there hoping to find something uh, to save your time my friends i will just pause the video right now and i'll be back to you to show you the new trade all right this is this is very, very interesting actually what we can see here on the pound gpy if we look at the left we can see that here right now on daily candles remember my friends i'm right now on daily candles that's not d that's a d this is this is a d okay i'm sorry i am on the daily candles <clears throat> so right now what we can see here uh, on daily candles that here we had the support level which later has been come after the breakout here became a new resistance and right here and here it was also a resistance going deeply in these candles uh, let's go to the four hour chart we can see oh my god i'm late we can see that here we already have a support number one after this bullish breakout candle and right here we are having a support number two uh, let me see if i can enter this or not i am almost mm, it's kind of late but i still think uh, let me just reduce my entry my lot size um that should be fine and place the buy order now again i placed this trade based on my daily candles uh, analysis that this is actually in the past it was a support level right here and uh, right here so this support level is going to keep its position as a support after this bullish breakout candle it's tiny small candles right now on daily because we can see um, a lot of uh, movements on the gpp gpy one small reversal this candle this whole one candle this whole candle is 36 uh, pip and that's a lot actually this one here by itself is 62 uh, pips that's a lot that the pound is making a lot of movements so a small reversal actually can give me very good amount of pips even before reaching the nearest resistance i can get around 20 pips because the nearest resistance is just right here this is the resistance so that's actually a good deal and hopefully it's going to be a profitable for us um, we can expect for the pair to actually go a little bit down to complete the reversal for the support number two before it start uh, reversing and heading more up now based on my analysis i'm expecting for the pair to actually continue its bullish momentum until it hit this resistance level right here so after creating a double bottom uh, sorry a double top we can expect for the pair to start reversing going down so i'm just uh, seeking this small reversal on the candle to give me the 20 pips that i'm seeking all right so let's see the other one use the gpy uh still not seeing good days so far uh, and i still think that we are we should wait actually more time for the usd gpy till it finally reverse as i have explained before look at this my friend this is very interesting we can see the scandal right now it's about to break out from this support right here again we have here the support level and we see this candle is about to break out from this support now this is the four hours candle and i will not decide anything until this candle actually closes as a breakout candle now look here we can see that we still have 18 minutes until this candle completely close and the new one will open so i just have to wait another 18 minutes to decide if this trade will remain or i will close it with a loss so i need to close the, sorry the uh, I need to pause the video right now and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the usd gpy and the gpp jpy so let's see together what's happening here actually uh, i need to close the usd gpy because as i told you i had to wait to see how this candle will close this one here 
and we can see what happened later the next candle now is bullish candle because this is not really a breakout candle however however I need to close this trade right now because I need to end this video right now so I will accept the break even with a very small tiny loss which is fine this one is uh, approaching the level but as I said I need to close the video so I will accept this uh, 12 pips of profit for my trade uh, the strategy as you know guys is very well uh, it's working very well and it's really powerful however I really hope that in this video as usual I was able to show you how to pick our trades how to pick our entries how to know if the trade should be closed with the loss or not so in the end uh, I really wish that was informative to you and I would like to thank